Hey there, and welcome to Getting Started with Replicant. Replicant is a powerful content creation tool that can allow you to do anything from create movies, advertise to mocap or stream with, environments, and more. To demonstrate the power of Replicant, let's use the easy starry mode to create our movie. Maybe we'll make a podcast in this case, so we'll select the podcast studio and hit create. After the level briefly loads, we'll be able to choose a stage preset for our actors. In this case, we want to use two, so let's sort by two and then choose the desk preset. This will put them at the desk and give them microphones, which use of a nice podcast looking setup. From here, we can further customize the actors by clicking the actor tab. Replicant has a lot of customization options for our actors, but we can also easily change him by using a preset. We can do this by selecting a category and make him Sebastian Rosie. From here, we can further customize him by going to the customization tab and maybe give him a different personality which will affect the script in the next stage. We'll make him a paranoid podcast host to see what that comes up with. We can also change his voice, for example, by scrolling down. This is a preview so you can understand how this voice sounds. And we'll select that voice. Then we can go back and we can also select or customize our second actor. We'll go to customization for her and we'll change her voice as well. Google is available as well as OpenAI and 11 Labs as of this moment, but we're always adding more services. We'll select 11 Labs and use the default voice, Destiny King, that that gives us. We can also randomly generate a personality for her. Rebellious, humble, and moody. Why not? Let's see what that generates in our script. We'll go to the script tab. From here, we can generate a random prompt by clicking this, or we can add our own custom one by editing ourselves. In this case, let's make Sebastian and Hannah our podcast hosts who debate a random subject. We can further customize the parameters of generation by clicking this. For example, we can make the script a bit shorter by editing the line count. And there's also a lot of options related to AI generation and so on. You can also over them to see the tool tips. There's also the ability to use personality and change the AI model. In this case, we'll use GPT-4. Let's go back and generate our script. As the script generates, you're going to see lines come in. These are script lines, which will have an avatar assigned to them, which can also have a camera assigned to it, a voice, an emotion, and different parameter overrides, such as the emotion of their voice and so on, as well as custom audio files if you want to do that. Rebelkint allows you to do everything by hand, allows you to use AI to help you, or any combination thereof. From here, we have our script, which we can edit if we wanted to change the lines individually. We can add new lines if we wanted to make new lines ourselves manually, or we can just continue to create our movie. Let's do that by hitting create. Once we hit create, the timeline will be created. The timeline will give you a full sequence where you can edit the camera shots, the voices, the angles, the animations, and many other parameters. We can take a look at that in another video as well. Hannah, do you ever feel like everyone's watching us? Once the video is done, you can preview it in this section, or you can go to the render section, which will allow you to render the video. If you click render, you can edit your parameters. In this case, I'll make it a bit more than three frames per second, my old setting to test, and I'll increase the frames. I can also increase the resolution if I want. You can change the quality as well, or make it vertical if you wanted it to be smartphone compatible. Uh, portrait mode. Now I'm going to click render and render the video, but I'm going to pause the recording here to allow that to happen. It goes pretty quick depending on your hardware and the uh, intensity of your settings, of course. But once I stop recording, you can preview the video that we got as a result of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.